Hi there, this is Vinamra Kasana. Welcome to Those Cast Clips. This is my shameless attempt at having you click on many clips until you're forced to watch the entire podcast. Subscribe and enjoy. So how do you how do you break that? Because I know I've also been in rooms like that. My recent yeah. last year I went to Mumbai at a gallery opening. And like and I was in like dirtyish clothes because I was running around doing podcasts. And my editor was even more dirty clothes. So we all went there. And he had a backpack on. So we I looked like an older college student. He looked like a younger college student, right? And like they they serve the wine and I'm bullering. but it still felt like if i had dressed up well and pretended to sort of say clever sentences about the art out loud perhaps i would get in, into that elite group of other people standing in sarees and suits who would say oh you're one of us hmm we accept you but wo mere ko wo cheez abhi bhi like like if i never look back i'm like i wonder how they would treat me differently if i spoke their language Yeah and I think it's it's very subtle messaging. Like you asked how do you what is the difference with what mm-hmm. we do? It's it's subtle me- and it's not just like it's where the audience are doing it. I mean there's so many art shows that I've been to uh where this is not the case. Mm-hmm. Um where you don't feel suffocated. But it's subtle messaging. Right? Mm-hmm. Where you replace a fine china with a red plastic cup. And American dorm room. <laughs> exactly. right when you're drinking out of a plastic cl- cup um do you think you're like you don't have that this thing that oh i'm in a very you know i have to be very proper i have mm. to be in a suit so that's one two is what we do is we try and bring in a crowd that's not just art mm. you know so because i think we we exist in circles where there's so much overlapping you know musicians Uh, artists other creators fashion yeah. youtube um that when this crowd comes together it's more the crowd than it is us so the fact that the invite list is not in a lock and key somewhere where it's only people coming because they have x amount of followers mm. you know i think fine i i'm not saying that's a bad thing to do mm. i think it's essential right like even when i am inviting people i'm like oh you know this is a good thing it will it will get my show reach because of you know, course, at the course. end of the day you've put in so much work you want your show to be seen you want it to work so that's fine but if you combine those two if you just open it up a little bit keep it closed but also invite people who are not already within that circle you know so that's why even with my my shows i keep the opening private because if i invite my whole invite list and then keep it open then it's just too many people no one gets a great experience right and then i always try and do like um you know last time we did the closing which was completely different we did a uh, dhh closing right which was a crowd that normally might not have gone i don't know normally might not have gone to an unlikely artist. is the unlikely. word yeah a lot of people came up to me there and and said you know this is such a great experience we wouldn't have uh, seen something like this if it wasn't for the music um so the the idea is to kind of open it up using these different avenues you know mm. bring in have a fashion show right at your show. i haven't done this but maybe it's an idea have a fashion show while your exhibition is going on crazy right so again you have to find the right balance between still letting it look like what it is letting the art be the focus mm. versus it looking like a mela mm. and you've got everything going on so that's not the goal either but once you find that balance and once basically you read the you know basically the lock and key which is the fine china still use right. fine china it's not uh, this thing on actual fine china but ha matlab stainless steel ki plate mein mere ko bada kha ketchup nahi lagega like objectively ha. whatever you so, are eating that so as long as it's not kept in a lock and key you get that you get that very organic vibe hmm you know like and like i said it's very subtle messaging it's, the red plastic cup it's the way you put out your invites mm. you know how it's going across um it's even sometimes who is reaching out to people on your behalf mm. so all of that as long as you make it feel welcome like when we did the show in bombay you know you cannot miss this at method two months back everyone came and said to me it's such a welcoming environment mm. right and i feel that a lot of that was also the place we did it method jew was very very it's a new it's new you know there's a coffee shop gallery, yeah. it feels very open it feels very welcoming but also just 
the fact that you could come wearing whatever there was no black tie there was no dress code there was no guest list checking at the door um you know acha okay, art shows pe guest list bhi checking hoti hai ha i think so i've not been to one but i heard of one last week where there was guest list really yeah. but isn't like aren't openings and like aren't they supposed to be free for all public no sometimes they're private okay because it depends no you can't obviously your when you go to an art show the fnb is free hmm to so, bahut sare random so log you can't jai. just cater to thousands of people abhi abhi faridabad mein social khula hai pehli baar so um we decided to go just to see what's happening and i i had already gone in the day but it was very like dud khana wana theek tha ab humne khana nahi gaya we went there for some cocktails but we were the only ones you know doing cocktails it's like what is happening here so come friday night and uh, we go and uh, it's it's me and three of my friends and we're all dudes ab hum sochte hum to yahan ke local hai like for example you live in one neighborhood of delhi hmm. and something close opens up to you close by so you know ki yaar i am just a neighbor i can walk in no problem so we go and you can see all your schoolmates all the people you ever met they all realize this god for second city has something new so they all have ended up there and we go and the bouncer is like sorry sir it's invite list only and i told mera mai dosto ko bola yaar agar hamare ko yahan se reject kar diya na main na matlab night life pe participate karna chhod dunga because it be so and then obviously my mama just spotted me and like he's like let them in so it was so embarrassing and funny to be rejected from a place that is opened up in my city literally 5 minutes from where i live to be rejected in even a city in like in a an event in faridabad but then i realized wahan pe wahan pe bhi aisa tha ki wo alcohol free thi sari ki sari so everyone's like ha- everyone's having too much of a great time too soon and you can already see people like losing their minds i'm like this is the problem i think this is why they pre select you know because otherwise people misbehave because once plus ye baat aur hoti hai na 800 ki logo ko ye hack pata lag gaya na ki 800 ki openings mein you know you get free food you know pre selected vibe like nice good fnb so everyone's like i'll just hack this world and they look at daily times they're like kya opening ho rahi kaise ho rahi they keep going yeah i think so it's also like from an experience perspective if we look back at my last show it was over two floors there were two separate entries yeah and um we were very late in opening and hum text laga rahe the something was falling you know just yeah. normal normal stuff that happens before <coughs> before you open a show but people started arriving on time mm. and my sister and my sister and another friend was supposed to perform over the piano and like a jazz uh, sort of performance um so i they were supposed to perform after the show opened because the doors were supposed to open people were supposed to come see it as as they entered then you know get a drink have some food um so i was like no no perform perform i'm not ready so by the time we got ready and they had finished performing the whole guest list had arrived <laughs> right and i had kept it very small because the the space there to do the opening was small because we hadn't taken that garden we had just mm-hmm. taken the courtyard so i had kept the guest list small but still about 150 200 people had come and so what happened was we opened the doors now you've come to see the art show we've all congregated once the doors open you go in hmm. so we had such a rush that i felt that that opening we couldn't you know like not all the viewers got a full experience hmm. like a lot of people came to me and said you know we'll come back we couldn't see the whole thing a lot of people didn't even realize there was an upstairs Mm. you know so sometimes a crowd that also we have to manage that you know that your viewers should get the experience that yeah the party the etc et is all extra mm. that you have space people will have a good time but also that they get the experience what they've actually come to see i think that's why again like i said sometimes there is a list as an invite only list because otherwise like 300 400 people 500 people will turn up and then what will you do You know, <laughs> like you cannot miss this. The closing we did inside, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Good, we tried, good thing to do inside. Ha, huh, we tried to do art, like music inside the art. Ashna performed a, hmm. a set on the closing. Someone picked up one of the Bangshu's work po- pocket. It left. Really, they stole <laughs> the art. <laughs> If you like this clip, I bet you will love the full podcast. Check it out on the Dostcast YouTube channel.